Ho! What is up, you guys? My name is Mr. Shawan, and welcome to If On A Winter's Night for Travelers. Again, same old, same old. Found it up on itch. Looks really interesting. Figured why the hell not. So here we are. <laughs> I don't know how all of a sudden I don't have any noise in the office, apparently. I don't know why. I don't know what the hell's going on, but whatever. But it looked interesting, so I figured why the hell not. So, I don't know how long it is, I don't know if it's a demo, I have no freaking clue. But it looks really cool. And I like these type of art styles. Young man. Is everything alright, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh yes, yes, certainly. It, it is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes, and the music, exquisite! Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Layla. Are you a chicker, dude? I'm Carlo, pleased to meet you. Um, Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there's definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? Oh no, it's just that I am... Um, I know it must be sound peculiar, but... I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. <laughs> what do you mean, Shirley? You must remember something! Well, I was at this hotel in Rome that I do remember. Rome! What a beautiful city! Where are you? On, were you on vacation? In a way, I was... Here, I was there to meet with the par paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. I have a feeling Layla's supposed to be a chick, but I have no freaking clue. I just saw it look like a skelly, so I gave it a papyrus sounding voice. Ah, beautiful Rome, so glad to see you again. Still as majestic as, and as decadent. And of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep when I'm back in turn. I guess. What time did Patrick say I, he should he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram somewhere here. Ah, here it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Glad. Please check the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. Will there? Will be there around noon. Love P. What the hell? Oh yeah. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Oh my, this is going to be rough. Best things are never easy, are they? Oh well. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror, at least make sure I'm presentable. And also check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Should make things a bit easier, I hope. Oh, hold up. It's a point and clicky. <gasps> I honestly got this like in September. I don't know when I got this. Socks, underwear, a couple shirts, and that watch Patrick gave me the first time we met at the party. A Rolex, no less. He must have a very... Hey, hey, oh, Sorry, keep it, I guess, on the side later. Where's the turlet? Ah, this away is to the bathroom. I see with my mind's eye. It's dark. Are you gonna say it's dark? Why am I putting myself through this? I could have just sent him a telegram. I'm sure that he, that's what he would do. But that's done. What's done is done, I guess. And now, the show must go on. I'm so confused with what's going on already. Towels. Bathtub. A bidet, a turlet. Been there, done that. <laughs> okay, so, do I have an inventory? There's a save game menu? Oh no. I don't believe the room Patrick should be here any minute now. Whiskey gin. Great room service. Oh, flowers. 
Let's move him somewhere else when we want him to stand out a bit more. Okay, I guess we're gonna put him on the expensive glass table. That would make more sense as soon as he comes in, he'll see it. Much better. Oh, they came in the cart. They saw it. Alright, there goes nothing. Maybe I should try playing some music. I don't want to play music. What if it's copyrighted? There's even a radio in the room. This place really has everything. Mm. I think I better leave it for Patrick. Static, he'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. American Eye. Coming, coming. Bang! Oh, I was expecting to get shot right there. Carlo! Patrick! So happy to see you. Look at you, it's been too long. You look great. You too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So, who do you like? How do you like the place? You mean the room? The city? The city? Quite both are ex excellent. The room! Pretty fancy, isn't it? You should give me a tour. I hear the beds are quite spectacular. Um. Let's have a drink. <laughs> this poor fellow. I think those poor fellow Americans are. of your suffering under the Volstead Act. Alright, alright, fine. So one for me, one for Patrick, one for me. There you are, Patrick. Just whip these out of my pocket. Salud! Cheers. And dead. When I mean, he just dr took a sip, then coughed. Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but feel free if you want. Oh, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> Thought I clicked out of the game for a second, everything froze. There, isn't that romantic? Uh, um, oh, by the way, those flowers are for you. Oh, they're absolutely lovely. But you've never in your life gotten me flowers. So spit it out, whatever it is. Alright, alright, want to take a seat? Sure, why not? In your lap. <laughs> I'm so confused. There's no easy way to put this, so I'll be blunt. I'll be blunt. There's no reason to say this, but I'll be blunt. We can't keep seeing each other. It's over. I'm sorry. Wow, straight to the point, I see. Thanks for making me come here and pay for your room for nothing, then. <laughs> Can I ask why, at least? I just don't feel anything. <laughs> I was drunk. You were drunk. And next thing you know, we're, you know, doing the dirty in the bed. It's too risky, honestly. I'm scared. I'm scared, Patrick, for your career. What if someone hears too much, talks too much? Even here in this room, these are dangerous times we live in, and you know it. I'm sure you understand that it's simply not safe to keep doing this. Oh, please. The only thing there is to understand is that you're bored of me. Or that you found someone else and you want out. Don't think I... That, don't you think I deserve the truth? At least not some half-baked lie. It's the truth. I swear, there's nobody. This has nothing to do with that. What if my family finds out? Do you know what, just last week, uh, they admitted a man to, for being like us? 
That is the 20s, so yeah, that would make sense. That's one of the things to be discreet, just another to run off like a cockroach. You know, I have the reasons to make any scandal go away. Oh, resources. But it's clear that nothing I say is going to change your mind. Arguing with you is a waste of time. You know what? Believe what you want. I came in person because I thought you would you would take it like a man. And now I see how wrong I was. I should have just never gotten in touch with you again. You're right. This is nothing but a waste of time for both of us. I came here expecting a booty call, and you damn well are leaving me blue-balled. Oh, you got no, I thought you'd be better in any way. Just so, just call me a taxi cab, and let's get this farce over with. All right, a cab it is then. Room service. I'd like to arrange a pickup. Yes, a regular tax cab will do. Owen, Patrick Owen, room 1046. Thank you. And blammo! Oh, he's on this side now. I guess this is goodbye then. Well, if that's what you wanted, isn't it? You're free now. Free to keep fooling yourself into thinking that one day you'll find the one true love of your life. But I would be sorry for you if I still care. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. As to me, I have no more patience left for your arrogance and your con condescendence. I was starstruck when I first met you, and now I see who you really are. And I want you out of my life for good. So get the hell out of here! And don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! That went from zero to a hundred so fast! Um... I can't run out like this. I need to think. I need to think. I wash my face. You just... The dude went down like a sack of potatoes. What? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to go to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Not call the police because you murdered a man in your hotel room. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Everybody is going to know. Everybody here knows my name. They know who I am. There's no way out. There's nowhere I can go. Oh, God. There really is no way out, is there? Sorry, I never wanted this. Forgive me, wherever you are. Please forgive me. What? It's an invitation. To some kind of masked ball? RSVP not required. So what is this supposed to be? A mask? It's slithers. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm here. I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. And now this all feels unreal, like a strange dream, like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience. That must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, not at all. What is it, darling? 
Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not, please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I've been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, but yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, Mrs. Winterbourne? Valerie Winterbourne. My husband is Henry. Henry, Henry Winterbourne. Surely you must know him from the papers. Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if, you, if he were around, I would have recognized him immediately, or already. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was. This is embarrassing, but I, I'm not quite sure right now. It's all right, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. 